Good day to you all. We are coming to you from the studios of World Power Educational Center. We are so glad to have you with us. Today, I'm discussing a subject, basic science, and our topic is soil. This the constituent of soil. Soil, constituent of soil. Now, we all know what soil is. Okay, you don't know what the soil is, you can just go outside. The sand, that is the soil, the sand around, whether it's clay or it's muddy or it's sandy, whatever it is, okay, that is soil. Now, we have the constituents. Now, what is the meaning of constituents? Constituents means the content, what it's made up of. Now, when we say the constituent of soil, we mean the content of the soil. What is the soil made up of? What does the soil contain? So we'll be talking about that constituent of soil. Now, by the end of the lesson, the pupil should be able to one define soil, two state the constituent of soil, state the constituent of soil. Now, what is soil? Soil is the uppermost layer of the earth in which plants are grown on. Soil is the uppermost layer of the earth in which plants are grown on. Soil is the uppermost layer of the earth in which plants are grown on. Now, if you see, if, I don't know if you have a plant outside your house, you can look at it, you see that the plants are growing. So, you know, the plants are growing on the soil. So, the soil is the uppermost layer, that part that you can see, on which the plants are grown so you see the plant growing on the soil now the soil can be formed around the soil can be formed around now you can form you can just go outside and you see a soil and you see that there are a whole lot of things that can form a soil a whole lot of things that can form a soil and that's what we'll be discussing about today now the layers of soil the layers of soil now see that the soil has three main layers, namely the soil has three main layers, namely a top soil, a top soil, b subsoil, c parent rock. So we have top soil, we have subsoil, and we have parent rock. I'll take it again. We have the top soil. That is one we see. One we see normally. We have the subsoil. That is, if you dig the topsoil, if you are digging the soil, the one that comes out that looks a little bit dark, okay? The most part, you know, they are dark. So we have after the subsoil, we have the parent rock. That is, that one is really, if you dig deep, that's where you can see that one, the parent rock. Those ones are very strong. So we have the content of soil. Now, what is soil made up of? Okay. The soil is made up of different particles of different sizes. That's why I said earlier that the soil can be formed around. Like I said, the soil can be formed around, meaning that it can a whole lot of things form the soil. A whole lot of, the, lot of things make up the soil. And the soil is made up of different particles of different sizes, namely air, water, humus, soil, organisms. These are the things that help to make up the soil. One of them is air. The air helps in making or you know, forming the soil. The second one is water. The water also helps in forming the soil. The third one is humus. Now, what is humus? Humus are more like the dead plants and animals. They decay. Decayed plants and animals. When they die and they decay, we call them humus so all these ones they help in forming the soil we also have soil organisms some of them are most of them are living like your earthworm and so on as you go further you understand now we have types of soil what are the types of soil number one we have the sandy soil number two we have the loamy soil number three we have the clay soil okay we have the sandy soil we have the clay soil and we have the gloomy soil. Now you know the sandy soil is that type of soil that is very sharp. 
you know an example if you, you see a white all these white sands around i don't know if you have seen it before white sand they are very sharp you touch them are very sharp okay now the second one is loamy soil loamy soil this is the soil we use for planting the soil that we use for planting our crops now the third one is clay soil now if you notice when there's rainfall you see how the ground is like it's very wet and muddy okay very wet and muddy so the soil there is called the clay soil like you see all this red soil okay if rain should fall on them you see that they become muddy so those are those are examples of clay soil so we have properties of soil and they are one color color the properties of soil what does the soil have so that the soil has color like i made mention to you earlier the red sand the white sand the brown sand you know these are different colors of soil so that's one of the properties of soil soil has color soil has texture texture what do i mean by texture like when you feel it how is it like when you hold it how is it like take for instance if you take the red sand and if you take the white sand you see that the both of them don't feel the same way the both of them don't feel the same way so both of them have different texture they have different texture that's what we call texture pick the white sand pick the red sand and you just rub them with your hands you see that both of them they are not the same way they are not the same okay now the third one is capacity to hold water capacity to hold water now if you pour water on the white soil and you pour water on the red soil you see that the red soil can absorb the water the red soil will like take in the water to hold the water with it but the white soil cannot the white soil cannot so the capacity to hold water number four is the constituent like each soil each soil is made up of different things i could see the sandy soil the sandy soil is not made up of the same thing with the loamy soil and the loamy soil is not really made up of the same thing with the clay soil but they have similarities no doubt but they are not all the same so the constituents that is one of their properties now what is it this constituent you are talking about now look at the constituent of the soil the constituent of the soil we say the soil consists of different objects which are called constituents the soil consists of different objects which are called constituents these are one water one water so water is one of the things that make up the soil like if you remember we said it here you see water here content of soil number two you see water also look at the constituents here number one we have water number two we have leaves we have leaves so the leaves are also part of the thing that make up the soil okay you see most of the times when it's hamatan and you see the leaves start falling from the trees you see that most of them they just decay in the soil and that that decadence gives rise to another soil okay it gives rise to a new soil we also have litters number three litters litters can be the papers the waste papers you throw away the biscuit wrappers and so on so all those ones they help in forming a new soil they help in forming a new soil number four we have dead animals animals that are dead now when these animals die and they decay their body their body like their body when their body decay you see they start to form soil take for instance now if an animal dies and you bury the animal and that animal stays for up to after one week if you go back and you check that place where you bury the animal you see that you don't see the animal again all what you see are bones now what happened to the skin what happened to the other parts of the animal now all those ones they have been used to form a new soil we have living animals Living animals examples are millipedes, centipede, earthworm, and ants. Earthworm and ants. Now, all these ones you see that if you look at the muddy soil, you are most likely to see an earthworm or 
a millipede or sometimes centipede also. If you look at the loomis or you can see the centipede, you can also see the earthworm. The earthworm is mostly found on clay soil. Okay, earthworm is mostly found on clay soil. You can also see ants and so on. Number six, we have soil particles. Soil particles like clay, slit, sand, gravel, and stone. I'll take it again. Soil particles like clay, slit, sand, gravel, and stone. Now, these soil particles, they also help in constituting a new soil. Now, number seven, we have air. We have air. And number eight, we have humus. Remember, we mentioned humus before. Now, what is this humus? So humus is formed by decayed plants and animals. Humus is formed like the, by decayed plants and animals. Remember when I talked about when burying a dead animal in a place and after one week, you go and check whether it's there, you see that it's no longer there. So all the body parts and the rest that were decayed, they formed what is called what? Humus. They formed humus. The humus is formed by the cave plants and animals. It gives the soil minerals. So the humus does what? The humus gives the soil minerals. So let's go over it again. The constituents of soil are number one, water, number two, leaves, number three, litters, number four, dead animals, number five, living animals, example, centipede, millipede, Earthworm ants. Number six, soil particles like clay, slit, sand, gravel, and stone. Number seven, air. Number eight, humus. And we say that this humus is formed by decayed plants and animals. It also gives the soil minerals. Now, evaluation. Evaluation. One, define the term soil. Define the term soil. Okay, uh, I'll try and define it. I'll say that the soil is the uppermost part of the earth where we plant our crops or on which we plant our crops. Let's check if I'm correct. Okay, no, I didn't say it word for word, but can see it here now say the soil is the uppermost layer of the earth in which plants are grown on at least i tried now half mark right <laughs> okay now it say list three main layers of the soil now list three main layers of the soil can you tell me i can't hear you but let's try okay let me try number one we have the top soil Number two, we have the subsoil. Number three, we have the parent group. Let's see, I'm correct. Yes. Layers of the soil. So the soil has three main layers. A, topsoil. B, subsoil. C, parent group. Okay. Now, list the three main parts of the soil. What are the three main parts of the soil? Can you tell me? Three main parts of the soil. Sorry, the three main types of soil. I'm sorry, sorry. The three main types of soil. So, can you tell me the three main types of soil? Okay. Okay. I'll say it. We have the sandy soil, we have the loamy soil, and we have the clay soil. Let's check. Yes, I'm correct. The sandy soil, the loamy soil, and the clay soil. So, number four state three properties of soil sorry this is not supposed to be not hold on this is not supposed to be not it's supposed to be of say so state three properties of soil okay state three properties of soil now can you state them for me 
Now, when I mean properties, okay, stay there first. Okay. Now, the properties of soil. Number one, we say water. Number two, air. And number three, humus. Uh, I spied a little. Uh, no, I failed it. <laughs> I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Okay. I'm wrong. Now, what is the correct answer now? Now, even the teacher fails sometimes, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, properties of soil. Number one, we have color, we have texture, we have capacity to hold water, and we have constituent. Oh no. I could feel it. Uh, okay, so we can go over it again, watch this video again, and practice it. They say practice makes perfect, right? Okay, thank you very much, and see you in the next video.